Companhia Urbana de Dança is something real, strong, and with social reference in Brazil. It's an, it's an artistic company, of course, and it's amazing to see them dancing. It's amazing, really amazing. But it's also something that brings us to Brazilian reality, bring us to Brazilian identity. They are a group of dancers, black dancers, coming from poor neighbors, neighborhoods of Rio de Janeiro. And they are also creative and they, all, they are also individual in their own way. My name is Sonia Dashti Lee and I run this company. And this company is um, Companhia Urbana de Dança. We are from Rio, Brazil. And before we start talking, I'm going to introduce my dancers. Um, Feijão. Hi. Johnny. Thiago Souza. Hi. Miguel Fernandes. Hi. Julio. Rafael Balbino. And Jessica Nascimento. So I never thought about to have a company of Afro-Brazilian dancers or, or people that came from the favelas. Or, I never thought that. They came to me, really. You know? So I understood that. I knew things that I should share, and, and there was the time to do that. And when it, my guys came first, they knew that they would like to dance, a dance that they saw on the videos, watching the videos. They would like to copy that dance. They would like to have the Lucky, the Poppy, and, and we did pretty bad. Because you don't have, really, you don't have teachers. You don't have that on the corner, but we have, we are pretty good in samba, capoeira, and everything. So I had to make them understand that we should do everything we want if you could sign this. Personalized, yes, how, how say that? Could I could like bring to me? So if this dance belongs to me, I can dance that. So today they, they can do everything they want, the locky, the poppy, but they had to sign, this is my own lock. This is my own break dance. So you can, you can fit everywhere. You can be, keep being, be good, right? I don't know if I can explain with, the, with words what they should, uh, they, they can bring to us, but they, but they really can translate with the body language, something that we have to say and we, we, we do not have words to say. They say with their bodies, with their movements. Companhia Urbana de Dança is also uh, a company that brings Rio de Janeiro slums, Rio de Janeiro poor neighborhoods to the scene without claiming for pity. They don't ask for pity, they ask for admiration. They ask, they ask for our commitment to uh, an artistic and uh, strong uh, world of dance and also happiness. I am talking about happiness at the same time I, I talk about poverty and uh, violence, all those things that the dancer has had to face in their days, in their daily life. Yes, I'm talking about happiness. I'm talking about something that you feel inside uh, I inside hope that they bring with their dance. They, they, they gave us something to think about, many things to think about. They don't give us uh, something that is already done. They give us questions to think about. And these questions 
made us like uh, feel like uh, we carry something warm inside after seeing Companhia Urbana de Dança. And I, I said, this is for me is the future, because I could see the freedom that I never saw in different styles. But the, the identity is something that, um, from the beginning, I would like them to understand the uh, belongs to them. So, as Frejon said, to God the identity, understand what my identity is and how powerful it is when you realize that you have this. So this can change so many things. This can change when the, the police stop you on the street. This can change when the, the cab didn't, doesn't stop for you to take a cab or your neighbor just look at you like in a crushed eyes. So this is changing everything because you already know who you are. So I think that the company gave them this because also gave me to this, you know, like gave me also as well this kind of fighting for identity, fight for a place. As we say here, fight to have a, a name and a family name, you know, and be proud of this. So uh, people used to say, I mean, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a dancer. Oh, okay, how your day job? Mm -hmm. I'm a dancer. Yes, but I mean, I know I got it. I understand. But I mean, what do you do for a living? So we dance. We work like six hours a day. Now we're working less because the, um, the budget is it's low. But uh, we work like five, six hours a day, and we work like from Monday to Friday, and you have a trip or something very, very important goes to Sunday to, um, as well. So it, we work like a professional, uh, and we are a dance company, and supposed to have a salary or support as a professional dance company. So it's a kind of a schizophrenic kind of living. But I mean, welcome to the club. Now, how to be honest with this art that happens on the street and you're gonna put on stage. So I mess up a lot in the beginning. So after, <laughs> really, because it's, it's, it's different, right? And they have to respect people they are building this on the streets. So, because that time didn't have hip hop in Rio. Yeah. Really, it was hip what? It comes from, really, you didn't have that. This is interesting for you guys, because you didn't have that, you huh. know? So uh, we start thinking, and also because I said we did this free bed, for me it was easy when I decided to make my own way of expressing this dance with my dancers. So after that, we just um, named ourselves a dance company mm. instead of a hip hop dance company. Because if you see what I'm doing now, I said, oh, we're not doing hip hop. I'm doing because I'm not changing the body that came from the hip hop. So that body gonna see on stage belongs to them. So it's not. So I don't have. Um, I don't have different. I don't have dancers with the same size. I don't have dancers with the same style. I don't. I don't have. They move completely different, even when they dance together. So this is what I want. You know, identity. They has to bring what they really are on stage. I know them from the beginning of the company Urbana de Dança. When I saw them the first time at a rehearsal, I, I'm not a person used to, to, to see dance spectacles, dance presentations. But when I saw them at the first time, a quite long time ago, I was so impressed that I, I could not leave them and there is many people like like me and they and they they gave me not just uh, 
a moment of uh, a beautiful dance uh, presentation before. They gave me also something that I use in my work, that I use to think about Brazilian identity, that I that I that I can carry with me in my professional and my personal life. So I think that's this um, this this um, work that they have been uh, rehearsal. The name is um, Cinco Passos para Não Cair no Abismo. The names in English, I think, this is going to be like five steps not to fall into the abyss. So we decided to, to, to create this piece because last year was a very, very hard year. I think just not for us, for everybody in the world, but particularly here. And we thought we were going to stop. So we did that thing because we talk every day. We have a conversation every day. We, we try to understand things, doesn't matter if it's for today or tomorrow or for next semester, but we also try to understand uh, the environment, the things, the people, and the festivals, and the curator, the presenters, life, you know. So we are always talking about things. And last year we talked about that, we're going to stop. Uh, so, because we don't have any, 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 any support. So, this for me is a support. You know, when you got this, when we, we get that thing, we get a, a kind of a role, hope, you know, because you are listening to me. You can see us. You're watching this video. So, I don't know if you're going to talk good things or bad, but at least you're going to be talking that you have a chance to see us. So, for us, it's, it's great. So, instead, um, instead of giving an end of this company, we create a piece. So I think that's what artists, they do when they have something very powerful that pushing you down. We decide to, you know, like give, um, I don't know, have a power move and um, change everything. So I think that's what you do, you know. We change everything every day, like a makeover, makeover something. So now, uh, um, so that's it. So I think that you wanted to support us. We're gonna see a link at the end of the, this video. We're gonna see a, a very interesting woman talking. That's Monica Lima, which is a, it's a very powerful um, a woman that works with um, Afro-Brazilian uh, history. And probably we're gonna have something about us in the middle of this video. And so I hope, I hope that you can understand at least our English, our dance, <laughs> and our sense of humor. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>